Dear brothers and sisters. Today, we gather to explore the liberating truth that imperfection is not a flaw but a reflection of our humanity. In a world that often celebrates perfection, we are called to embrace our imperfections and find solace in the boundless grace of our loving God. Romans 3:23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Society often presents us with unattainable standards of perfection, leading many to strive relentlessly to meet these expectations. However, scripture reminds us that every person, without exception, falls short of perfection. Recognizing this truth frees us from the burden of unrealistic standards and allows us to embrace our imperfections with humility. 2 Corinthians 12:9. But he said to me, "My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness." Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Our imperfections do not diminish our worth in the eyes of God. Rather, they serve as reminders of our humanity. It is through our weaknesses that God's strength is made perfect. When we embrace our imperfections, we open ourselves to receive God's grace in abundance, allowing his power to work through us despite our limitations. Galatians 1:10. Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God, or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Perfectionism often stems from a desire for external validation and approval. However, as followers of Christ, our ultimate allegiance is to him alone. When we release the need to please others and instead focus on pleasing God, we find freedom from the suffocating grip of perfectionism. Our worth is not determined by human standards but by the unconditional love of our heavenly Father. Ephesians 2:8-9. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. God's grace is the antidote to perfectionism. It is through his unmerited favor that we find redemption and salvation, not through our own striving for perfection. As we surrender our imperfections to God, he transforms them into opportunities for growth and grace. Let us embrace his grace with gratitude, knowing that it is sufficient for all our shortcomings. Colossians 3:12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Just as God extends grace and compassion to us, so too are we called to extend the same to ourselves and others. Let us cultivate a spirit of compassion that embraces imperfection with kindness and understanding. In doing so, we reflect the boundless love of our heavenly Father and create a community where all are welcomed and accepted. May you walk in the freedom of God's grace, embracing your imperfections as opportunities for growth and grace. And may you extend the same grace and compassion to yourself and others, creating a community where all are valued and accepted as beloved children of God. Amen. Psalm 37:23 to 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Even in our imperfection, God is faithful to guide us on the path he has set before us. While we may stumble along the way, his hand is ever present to lift us up and keep us from falling. Let us trust in his sovereignty and continue to walk in faith, knowing that he is working all things together for our good, even our imperfections. 2 Corinthians 4:7. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Our imperfections serve as vessels through which God's power is made manifest. When we embrace vulnerability and authenticity, we allow his light to shine through our cracks and imperfections, revealing his glory to the world. Let us not hide our flaws but rather celebrate them as opportunities for God's grace to be revealed in our lives. Philippians 1:6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Our journey of faith is marked by growth and transformation, not perfection. As we walk with God, he continues to mold and shape us into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Let us celebrate the progress we have made, knowing that God is faithful to complete the work he has started in us. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a testament to his grace and faithfulness in our lives. Romans 12:10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. In our journey of embracing imperfection, let us lean on one another for support and encouragement. Together, as a community of believers, we can bear one another's burdens, uplift each other in prayer, and remind one another of the unending grace and love of our heavenly Father. May our imperfections draw us closer together. forging bonds of love and unity that reflect the heart of God. 2 Corinthians 12:9 to 10. But he said to me, "My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, 
I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. In our moments of imperfection and vulnerability, let us remember that it is precisely where God's strength shines brightest. Instead of hiding our weaknesses, let us boast in them, knowing that they are opportunities for Christ's power to be displayed in our lives. By embracing our vulnerabilities, we allow God's grace to work powerfully within us, transforming our weaknesses into testimonies of His strength. Colossians 313 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Just as God extends grace and forgiveness to us in our imperfections, let us also extend the same grace to others. By cultivating compassion and forgiveness, we create a space where everyone can feel accepted and valued, regardless of their flaws. Let us bear with one another in love, showing kindness and understanding, knowing that we are all works in progress, journeying together towards greater wholeness in Christ. Colossians 3 23-24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. While perfection may elude us, we are called to pursue excellence in all that we do, not for the approval of others, but as an offering to the Lord. Let us strive to do our best, dedicating our efforts to honoring God rather than seeking the praise of men. In our pursuit of excellence, may we find fulfillment and purpose, knowing that our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Philippians 1 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. As we walk the journey of faith, let us celebrate the progress we make, no matter how small. Each step forward, each victory over our struggles, is evidence of God's transformative work within us. Let us rejoice in the knowledge that God is continually at work in our lives, shaping us into the likeness of His Son. In every moment of growth and transformation, may we give thanks to God, who faithfully carries out His good work in us. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude this sermon, may you be encouraged to embrace your imperfections as opportunities for God's grace to abound. Remember that you are deeply loved and accepted by your Heavenly Father, just as you are. May you find strength in vulnerability, compassion in your interactions with others, and purpose in the pursuit of excellence. And may you always rejoice in the progress you make along the journey of faith, trusting in God's promise to bring His good work in you to completion. Amen. Please like and subscribe today.